Hey, in this video, I'm talking about the truth about creatine. You may have heard of creatine. It's been marketed for, particularly for athletes, for better athletic performance, muscle growth, muscle strength. But did you know that actually creatine can benefit anybody at any age and help improve overall cognition, memory, and, and energy, right? And just all, our overall energy production. And that's because creatine actually plays a really critical role in cellular energy production. When we think about our cellular energy, we use this compound called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And what happens is adenosine triphosphate cleaves off a phosphate group as part of its energy producing process. And it turns into ADP, which is two phosphate groups. ADP is um, adenosine diphosphate. And so the faster we can turn ADP into ATP, the more available cellular energy we have. And so creatine, it is in all of our muscles, right? In all of our major cells of our body, all, all of our cells. And we have it in a form called creatine phosphate. So it actually donates this phosphate group and it can do it very quickly without the presence of oxygen. It can donate phosphate to ADP, turning it into ATP. Now, the only limitation there is the amount of creatine that we have in these muscles. And that's gonna come from how much creatine we're absorbing in our diet or if we are supplementing with creatine. And so where do we find creatine? It's in our protein-rich animal foods. That's gonna be a highest source of creatine. All of us have creatine in our cells, but some people have a lot more than others because they absorb nutrients from the food they're consuming. They're consuming more of these animal foods. So they have more of the creatine than other individuals. And particularly, this is really important, especially as people age, where we start to have muscle loss. We lose more of the creatine. We're not able to replenish ATP as effectively as we were when we were younger. And so creatine, again, can be really powerful. Some of the great benefits are increasing um, overall muscular strength as well as muscle endurance. It's gonna increase our muscle tissue, which helps us burn fat. The more muscle tissue we have, the better we are at stabilizing our blood sugar. Muscle tissue can act like a sponge pulling sugar out of the bloodstream. Muscle loves sugar. It wants to hold on to sugar in a form called glycogen. That way it can use that glycogen to produce energy whenever we're in an anaerobic state, when we don't have enough oxygen. Like if we go out running or if we're lifting weights, we need quick energy and we can use that uh, stored glycogen. So the more muscle tissue we have, the more we're able to pull the sugar out of the bloodstream and into the muscles. And that's really important for protecting against the detrimental effects of advanced glycation end products or um, these AGEs that drive up oxidative stress in our system. And so it reduces aging by pulling the sugar out of the bloodstream. Also, creatine is able to help improve cognition and memory because that's cellular energy. The better your cognition memory, it means your body's really good at producing cellular energy in the mitochondria in our brain, right? And so we get better cognition from this. And so this is really important. As people age, they start losing muscle tissue. Creatine can help preserve that lean body tissue. It can help reduce the amount of visceral fat, uh, the kind of damaging inflammatory fat that's around our organ systems. It can help preserve good cognitive function. So many individuals as they're aging, they're losing cognition. Creatine can help solve that issue and keep cognition and memory fu at functioning at a really high level. Now again, we wanna, how do we optimize creatine? Well, certainly we can be eating grass-fed, organic animal products that are high naturally in creatine. I think that's great and that's what we wanna do. But you can also supplement with creatine, okay? Supplementing with creatine is actually a really good thing for your memory, your cognition, for supporting, maintaining and supporting lean body mass. I recommend as a maintenance dose, roughly about three to five grams a day, you wanna get creatine monohydrate. That's the most well-studied form of creatine. It's called creatine monohydrate. You wanna get it without all the artificial sweeteners and dyes, chemicals, right? There's a lot of uh, you know, marketable brands that kind of put it into like a sweet tasting type drink, but it's all artificial dyes and chemicals. We wanna obviously avoid that. It should just be kind of a clear powder, creatine monohydrate. Take three to five grams a day for maintenance and if you wanna do a loading phase, if you're like, hey, I really actually wanna really improve my muscle strength, performance, and muscle size, let's say you're an athlete or something like that, you can do a loading phase where you take about five to seven grams four times a day in water or you can put it in a shake or something like that. Um, four times a day, five to seven grams. So what is that gonna give you? 
roughly 20 to 30 grams or so. You do that for a week and that's called the loading phase. You're absolutely saturating your muscles with creatine and then you go back to three to five grams for roughly six weeks and then you can do a loading phase every six weeks. You wanna oversaturate your system. You wanna get right to the saturation point, 20 to 30 grams for about seven days will super saturate your system and then you go back to that three to five gram dose your system will become less saturated but you'll still have sufficient quantities of the creatine and then you can resaturate again um, if you're looking for those the optimal benefits from creatine but just taking three to five grams a day you will notice improvement in your your cognition your your ability to think sharply quickly your memory um, you'll preserve more muscle mass you'll feel stronger when you're working out You'll have more endurance. You'll be able to do the things you want to do going up, climbing up stairs with more ease, right? And less effort. And that's the benefit of creatine. It's, its ability to replenish cellular energy so quickly helps you have, thrive, helps you have better cognitive function, better, better overall energy, and better muscle strength and performance. So guys, try it out today. Again, get a good pure creatine monohydrate. No, you know, none of the artificial dyes and all that kind of stuff. And start with just that three to five gram maintenance dose today. I know that you'll see a difference.